Alrighty, what is going on, my people? So, we got some stuff today. These are not the hanger packs. These are just regular retail packs of Topps Heritage. We haven't tried these yet. And when I went to Target, they had five packs left inside one of the retail boxes. So they're probably really picked through. Somebody probably picked out the good packs already, but we haven't opened these yet. And short print cards that are backwards, like image variations, aren't any thicker. And I like these packs better because you can't see through them. And at my target, it's just the way it is, man. I know these scummy kids come in there and they fucking touch the packs and shit. So I'm just happy we got some regular retail packs to try out. But these are the big boys today, guys. I got four Topps Chrome Update from 2021 hanger boxes. So I did rip two of them before. Um, and we got two pretty decent pinks. Tariq, or uh, Clark Schmidt. I don't know why I keep thinking that's Tariq Scooble. Clark Schmidt, who's a decent pitcher. But the key Brian Hayes rookie debut pink. Um, we've done a ton of mega boxes, and I told myself I'm never doing those again. We ripped, I think, what, total probably 11 or 12 of those? Hundreds of dollars, and we got literally nothing, guys. We got a couple purple Kellenex and Indias, but that's it. We got no autographs in, like, 12 boxes. And I have some of my stuff right here. I'll show you the couple numbered cards we did hit out of 12 12 freaking mega boxes the only two numbered cards i hit were the albert Pujols and the josh reddick two veteran cards out of 199 and out of 250 out of like 12 mega boxes dude crazy so we're not doing those anymore and if these are bad I'll probably never rip them again, man. But I've just seen so many crazy hits from this product, guys. Topps Chrome Update is a retail-exclusive product. So far this year, it's only come out in the Mega format and the Hanger format. So you, it's not like hobby and retail and other stuff where there's hobby-exclusive hits and then retail hits. So your odds aren't that great in retail. Everything is in these boxes. In the hangers, in the megas, you can pull the super fractured, the biggest hits in the product you can pull from these retail boxes. So that's why I've spent so much money on them. I saw people open one mega and hit like an Otani gold autograph and a rookie autograph in one mega box. Man, I just saw so many sick pulls from this product and we haven't hit anything. So we're going to try that. And when I bought these, there was a five per person limit. I got these from a Fred Meyer. Uh, here in the West Coast, Portland, we got Fred Myers, so it's a Meyer. Um, there was a five limit, but they're behind the counter. And they also had Heritage Fat Pack. So I said, well, if there's only four of these chromes left, I got the last four. And I said, hand me one of those red uh, Topps Heritage Fat Packs. And I thought he grabbed the right pack. And he said, do you want these in a bag? And I said, sure. He tossed them in there. I didn't even notice till I got home. He gave me one of these hockey packs. So I bought that. And I'm like, dude, they're not going to let me exchange it or return it. So I guess we'll just open it, you know. I don't know really shit about hockey. I know how to play hockey. I played it growing up. But I don't know any of the players and stuff. So, I mean, we'll open that just for fun. But you know what? Let's do that first. But before we get started... Two quick announcements. So I do have my 300 subscriber giveaway going on right now. It was in the video where we opened the Chronicles basketball box. You'll see this as the thumbnail. And it says 300 subscriber giveaway. Make sure you go there. You got to be publicly subscribed. Uh, you have to like the video. And you have to leave any comment in the description. Or down in the comment section. That's all you got to do. I'll pick a randomizer. And I'm going to be giving away some Topps Series 1 Fat Packs from 2022 to pull some Wanders. And it's they're out of that same case where I've been pulling all these crazy hits. So, I don't know if 
you know, how it's going to go. But I'm going to at least give you guys some action on that because I still have a ton of packs left. So make sure you guys enter that giveaway. And I'm also going to throw in some freebies for you if you tell me your favorite team and stuff. So I'll be picking a couple winners, probably three for the 300 subs. And uh, yeah, also this weekend, guys, I'm going to go live and we're going to do a card sale. So there will be some cards that are more low in, like $2, $5, probably a few dollar cards um, that will just have prices. And the first person to say sold in the chat, uh, I'll have my PayPal in the description. You can just do that. And there will be a one-time shipping fee of like $4 or whatever. If you buy a bunch of cards, it doesn't matter. You just pay that one-time shipping. And I'll hook you guys up with some good prices. I'll also have some higher end stuff and I'll take requests during the live stream if you guys have if there's anything I want that you guys want to put up um some of the more medium to big end cards we can even auction them off if you want you know I'll start the bidding on a $100 card at like 50 and just let it run and see what you guys get it to so I will make sure I put up a video the day before I go and do that um but I will go live this weekend either Saturday or Sunday so if you guys have any suggestions on what day you'd like me to do that, put that in the or down in the comments. I don't know why I keep saying description, but let's just rip this stupid hockey, hockey pack. I can't believe he charged me for this and gave me this goddamn thing. But I don't even know about hockey cards, what the parallels are, if you can pull autographs or numbered cards. I don't know. Doesn't look like there's any thick cards or anything in here. I remember the Young Guns cards because I had a McDavid rookie that I sold out of a collection I bought. If any of you guys know hockey cards, I'll just start again and I'll go slowly. Just uh, let me know in the comments what to be looking for and if there's anything in here. I'll probably, if you guys like hockey, just leave a comment down below. And uh, you can probably just have these. Just looking for stuff that I recognize, but I see we have a different colored card coming up here. Okay, so the blue is the rookie, so Jeremy Swayman. MVP rookie, Jeff Carter, is that an autograph? No, it's probably just a script on the card like this one, huh? Can't even read the names when they're in silver like that. That one's not numbered. Yeah, it doesn't say... It looked like a silver autograph on there, but it's not... Huh. Well, if you guys know anything about hockey or want those, hit me up. I don't really care. I'm kind of pissed that I got that. So let's start with the Heritage first, because these are probably not going to have anything in it. They're just the retail packs. We can hit a short print. Image variation, something like that. That would be sweet. Nick Forte. Man, I keep pulling these Zach Thompson cards, which is cool because we hit that auto of him. Rookie outfielders. Three rookies in the first four cards. Oh, we got a backwards one. Sunny Gray. See, that's what I mean. They can't feel... Thick cards. Also, same with the autographs. They're on the same uh, card stock, you know. J.D. Davis. New York Mets. High-numbered short print. Salvi. And a Rosarina. Check the backs one more time there. Bada boom. So I got one high number. I got a ton of high numbers, guys. I've got like a box down here just full of heritage cards, and I, I was looking at it yesterday. I was like, man, so many high numbered cards in there. I've got like 50, 60 high numbers. Dude, dude. Oh, baby. We got a chrome. 
We got a chrome. Obviously, these weren't picked through then. The guy handed them to me. I don't like when they do that. You know, it's like I don't... I guess it's probably very unlikely that the person working at Freddy's collects cards, but... Come on, please be something good. Our last chrome that was a silver like that was a DeGrom. I have it down here. Can it be a rookie? Let's just see what the team is. Blue Jays. George Springer. Uh, well, that will be to 673. Still have not got another Wanderer. Or an O'Neill Cruz. I only have one of each of their base. That's why I've been opening Heritage, man. Because imagine hitting a Wander of those, man. I want one so bad. I want a Chrome Wander so bad. Can you guys imagine how sick the Topps Chrome and update and stuff is going to be this year? It's going to be insane. Carson Kelly, a Rosarena. Manuel Rivera. Hoy Park. Speak of Elvis Andrus. That's the guy I got the bat of. That bad boy right there. Put that off to the side. That was that pack. I knew there was another rookie in there. Well, that's a success. These packs were only $3 each, guys. Three bucks. Can't really go wrong with that. With a chance to pull a parallel of a Wander or an O'Neill Cruz. I think we got another backwards card. Connor Wong, rookie. Tony Stalin, rookie. Oh, come on. Oh. Jason Castro, high numbered short print. That was, we got a French text of that too. So those were the two numbered cards I had hit from our hobby boxes. Oh, speak of the hobby boxes, guys. Wait till I tell you this. Let me get through this last pack. But unbelievable. Aaron Judge, just a base pack. You're probably going to get a lot more base packs in these regular retail packs instead of fat packs. But, man, I didn't know there were that many short prints and chromes and all that, though. In these regular $3 packs, man, I highly recommend these. For 3 bucks, you can't go wrong with that, man. Totally. So, I opened that hobby box. I opened two hobby boxes of Heritage. And in one of them, we hit a Redemption. If you go back and watch that video, I thought it was a wander. But it was a Mason Thompson, a pitcher for the Nationals. And I hadn't scratched it or done anything with it because I was waiting to see if he turned out to have a good start. I was going to just sell the redemption. But he hasn't, and the Washington Nationals aren't very good. So I just decided to scratch it off and redeem it online. I just tried scratching it with a quarter, and... The damn code is such a small print, you can't even read it, and it's all scuffed up. I could, I tried for four hours last night, trying all different com combinations, trying to figure out what the code was and what it said. It's not legible at all. You cannot make it out at all. So frustrating. So now I had to fill out this thing, and i got to mail it in there, and hopefully they'll redeem it. I might not even get that auto now, so super bummer about that, but... Oh, I'm so nervous about this. These are $25 each, guys. So this is... That's 100 bucks right there. So... Oh, boy. Hopefully, these treat us better than those mega boxes. This is probably going to be the last time I open these because they're so expensive. But I had to try it. I had to try it. I had to try it one more time, man. I can't fail. I hate failing, and we failed big time on those mega boxes. So let's just hope that we get some good juju here. Normally, you can tell which packs have the pinks in it because they're a little thicker. 
I might be wrong there. I don't know. Just do those. That's why you don't want to ever buy these single packs online because they're, they can be picked through. All-Star Game. Nolan Arenado. Sam Huff and Debbie Garcia. Oh, boy. For 25 bucks each, man. You need a good hit. Need a good hit each box. Good rookie pull. Just basing this one. McClanahan. We need an auto. I'm going to be super disappointed if we've opened this much Topps Chrome update and not got a single autograph. It's a bummer. Well, this one has our pink in it. One of them. Charlie Morton. Mark Melanson. It's a rookie. Jazz, baby jazz. Who I've been buying lately. I've been looking for his stuff online and buying him because he has been... He's probably the best rookie, guys, so far from this class. He is the real deal, man. And I pulled a black and white hobby exclusive on-card rookie auto numbered out of 50 of him from my Gypsy Queen hobby box. And then my very next box I opened, Diamond Princess did it for me and hit me a Joe Adele black and white of the same exact card. On-card, out of 50, both rookies. There's a good one. Akil Badu. Shout out to Fuzzy. Nick Madrigal. And Andres Gimenez, who's actually fairly decent, too. He's already hit two homers this year. Um, but, yeah, and then when I sold my collection to that one guy, I did not want to include those two cards, and I did. They were in the boxes that I sold. After I sold it, the guy shipped everything to New York, and... I looked, and it was gone, dude. So, it is what it is. I'm not going to call the guy to get him back. Chris Rodriguez. Alec Baum. So, the card that I was actually looking at buying the other day from Peds was this exact card, except it had a red border, and it was numbered to 10. Crazy rookie card. I should have bought it. 40 bucks just because of the print line I skipped on it. Not smart. I might message him actually to see if he still has it. I like Bomb. He's a good defender. Well, first box, no auto. Just rookie debut of Jazz Pink, which it's a debut. You want to hit a parallel. Of one of his that would hold value, you would need to go for his Topps Chrome one. Not the update. Come on, guys. One of these boxes has to have a hit. One of them's got to be a banger. Come on. We need some luck. Brad Hand. I'm not going to try to feel the packs. We're just going for it. Steven Matz. Non-rookie. Bryce Harper. Justin Williams. You really want to hit those pinks with rookies, man. And this product does have mostly rookies, so... That's why you, your odds are pretty good to do that. But when you don't, it really sucks. Because that's where most of the value for this $25 box is. Unless you get an auto or a numbered card, which I really hope we do. Ahmed Rosario, Chris Taylor, All-Star Game, Odorizzi, and Snell. Not even a rookie in that one. Oy. Ben Attendi. I'm telling you, man, if we don't hit anything in these four boxes, I'm done. It's just, that would be the worst luck I've ever seen. People have been opening tons of this stuff, man. Tons of this stuff and just hitting. I, I mean, you barely see people not hit. Barely. Most people hit in this. 
which is weird that I've hit, I've opened more than anybody I've seen. That one had the pink, so we're gonna do that one last. Jorge Moteo. Frank Thomas, Platinum Players, Base, non-numbered. Dylan Carlson, Debut. Ha Sung Kim, Debut. Alright, let's see what our pink is here. Oh, it's upside down. Kaya Tom. It's a rookie. Kaya Tom. Alrighty. Nick Matten, Mount Castle. Haven't really watched much Tom, but that's a true rookie. It's not a debut. So, all right, we're halfway there, guys. Halfway there. Oh, living on a prayer. And if you guys have. Any interest in involving in that auction this weekend, please make sure, a reminder, type in the description what day, Saturday or Sunday, you would rather have me do it, and make sure you tell me some cards. If there's some players or teams that you guys are looking for, I'll make sure to include some of those. Ay, 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 ay. We need to hit something, guys. Another $100 down the drain on update. I've spent more on this product. Oh, my God. It's so frustrating. Jose Devers. Platinum Players. Ted Williams. Non-numbered. Kirilov debut. Garcia debut. Oh, ho, ho, ho. come on. Give us something good. We need that good luck juju. Michael Taylor, Bo Bichette, Black Gold, Nick Madrigal, another Gimenez. That one feels thick. Do that one last. It's probably just another pink. Just after feeling this thin pack, it, it's noticeable. That's why I don't, would never buy these off the secondary market. Just single packs. Garrett Whitlock. Colton Wong. Francisco Lindor. This one has a pink. Tyler Stevenson debut. Ryan Weathers. It's a rookie. Come on, give us a good one. Geraldo Perdomo. Kyle Isabel. I haven't hit a Kellenic or an India yet either. I mean, I have both, all of their cards from here. I have their base, their debut. I don't have their pinks though. That's what I was kind of hoping for. It's definitely the best pinks you could hit. What do we got in here? We got a refractor and we have a pink. Hopefully it's not just an all-star game. What's our pink? Andrew Vaughn. Debut. Oh, I saw Otani and I was like, please be an auto, man. I've seen people hitting those in here, man. We can't hit nothing. Ay, ay, ay. Mitch Moreland. John Lester. Ugh. This is not good, guys. Last box magic here. Last box magic. We need something good. This is not looking good, I'll tell you that. It's not looking good. It's looking just like the mega boxes. Victor Gonzalez. Mike Piazza. Base. Oh, non rookies. 
I just want one good card, man. That's all I want. Just one good one. Yerman. Man. We're getting the same cards again. Same collation. We need that to switch and give us something good. We'll just do this pink. I'm not going to do this last. Stevenson. Dane Dunning. Pink rookie. A Mookie Betts. Nick Matten. Mount oh, damn, dude. We're just getting doubles. Ugh. I don't know. They both feel the same. This one has the pink. We'll do this one last. It's a silver. Maybe it's an all-star game. I don't know. Ryan Weathers. Damn it. Oh, guys. Happened again. This product, I just, I'm just not the one, man. I'm not the chosen one this year. Series one, I am the chosen one, but this one. Oh, okay, we got the Kellenic. Why couldn't that have been the pink? Just trolling, man. Well. Another one bites the dust, guys. What a bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Only got one non-rookie pink. So I guess that's alright, but man, for the cost of those boxes, for $100, man. Definitely didn't get that. It's just, you want to get a numbered parallel, man. You know, when you're spending that much money and you're buying like... And that's what always happens. I feel like the last time I bought six mega boxes, but there was one left I couldn't buy, and that probably had the hit in it. You know what I mean? And it's just, this time there were only four of these left, so whichever one sold before I got there probably had the hit in it, you know? So, it is what it is. Got one more base true rookie of the Kellenic, so I guess it's not a total loss, but no numbered cards again. Not a single one. Just lots of rookie pinks. The Jazz. The Andrew Vaughn. Dane Dunning is pretty nice, but, I mean, man. Just doesn't... It's not doing it justice. Well, that's how it goes sometimes, guys. You risk it. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you don't. For that $100, I could have gone online and bought a Kellenic Tops Chroma Update Rookie Autograph. You know what I mean? I could have bought the card I wanted. So there are ways to doing this without actually risking anything, you know? You can still build your collection. I enjoy ripping the packs. I like the chase. I like the fun of it, you know? Sometimes you hit, sometimes you don't. That's just how it goes. So, If you guys are interested in doing that sale, please show me down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. I really, really am interested to see if this is a good idea. Otherwise, I can do it on Facebook if not a lot of people are interested. But I'm going to be selling a lot of stuff over the next two weeks. So make sure you hit me up. Let me know. I'll do it Saturday or Sunday or both. We can do it both days. I'll have some stuff that's pre-priced for cheap. So for those low budget collectors. And then I'll have some higher end stuff. And I'll have requests. So much love. Make sure you guys hit that sub button. If you scroll down to look at the description. Or leave a comment. And you see it says subscribe there in red letters. That means you need to hit that button. Because it means you're not subscribed. And it shows on my thing. That not even a third of the people who watch my videos are subscribed. So it's something free. It's quick. It's easy. 
and I do giveaways, man. You can win some fun stuff. Not only will you get some Series 1 fat packs in the giveaway, you'll also get some freebies uh, from your favorite team or players. So make sure you guys hit that sub button, leave a comment, and go check out that Contenders video and make sure you enter the giveaway. Much love, everybody. Stay safe out there. Rip some packs. Spend time with the people you care about. Peace!